and welcome to Quotes This Week, episode 44. I'm Sanya, back with Court Updates for the week. As usual, taking you through the Supreme Court first. Supreme Court refused to quash FIRs against journalist Amish Devgan for remarks against Sufi Saint Moinuddin Chisti. A bench of Justices A.M. Khanvilkar and Sanjeev Khanna, however, clubbed all FIRs filed against Devgan and transferred them to Ajmer. The July 8th stay on investigation and coercive action against the journalist will continue. So as many as seven FIRs have been filed in Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh, Uttar Pradesh, Maharashtra, Telangana against Devgan on the basis of alleged derogatory remarks that he made against Sufi Saint Moinuddin Chesti on his primetime show telecast on June 15. While hosting the debate on the said date on PILs regarding the place of worship Special Provision Act on his show Arpar, Amish had called Khwaja Moinuddin Chesti, better known as Khwaja Garib Nawaz, an attacker and lutera. Won't pass any order which will lead to economy going haywire, said Supreme Court on pleas for loan moratorium extension. The Supreme Court continued the hearing in the pleas pertaining to extension of loan moratorium along with petitions by specific sectors. Solicitor General Tushar Mehta made submissions on behalf of the Centre. Bench of Justices Ashok Pushan, R. Subhash Reddy and M. R. Shah heard the matter. And the crux of this was that the specific sector issues that emanate from the instant petitions could not be granted relief under Article 32. No COVID-19 posters outside patients' homes without direction from competent authority under Disaster Management Act, Supreme Court held. Court said that affixing of COVID-19 posters outside the homes of patients can be done only if there is a direction from the competent authority under the National Disaster Management Act. The court noted that the centre has already clarified this stand on the issue and directed the states and union territories to follow the same. Supreme Court directed IIT Bombay to grant interim admission to student who lost admission after clicking wrong link. Court came to the relief of an 18-year-old student who lost his admission to IIT Bombay after he had inadvertently clicked a wrong link uh, during the online admission process. Bench passed an interim order directing IIT Bombay to grant provisional admission to Siddhant Batra, a student hailing from Agra who had secured an All India rank of 270 in JEE. The Supreme Court on Thursday adjourned the special leave petition filed by former Secretary of Supreme Court Bar Association Ashok Arora against the Delhi High Court order wherein his plea seeking a stay on his suspension from SCBA was rejected. The bench had heard the matter and allowed Arora to argue in person. However, due to audio issues, the court adjourned the plea and will now be heard next uh, in the next week in on Tuesday. No coercive action against Roshni Act beneficiaries for now. Centre told Supreme Court. Supreme Court asks JNK High Court to hear review petitions as well. The so, so Solicitor General on Thursday told the court that no coercive action will be taken for now against the beneficiaries of the Roshni Act which has been declared as unconstitutional by the Jammu and Kashmir High Court in October. <music> Universities can stipulate enhanced norms and standards for granting affi affiliation than those prescribed by AICTE, Supreme Court held. The top court observed that the universities, though cannot dilute the standards prescribed by AICTE, they have the power to stipulate enhanced norms and standards. The CJ-led bench observed Thus, while allowing APJ Abdul Kalam Technological University's appeal against the Kerala High Court judgment, which directed it to reconsider the application for affiliation of a new BTEC course as submitted by a college. <laughs> Supreme Court vacated a two year old blanket ban restraining other courts from hearing disputes related to BCCI, state cricket associations. The Apex Court on March 14, 2019, had restrained all other courts across the country from entertaining or proceeding with any matter pertaining to 
cash rich BCCI and state cricket associations till the court appointed mediator and senior advocate PS uh, uh, Narsema submitted his report on the pending disputes. In the Central Vista project case, Supreme Court allowed foundation ceremony for new parliament building, adding that the same not be altered in any manner after the court slammed the central government for going ahead with the construction works of the project, even when the judgment on the petitions against it is awaited. The Solicitor General Tushar Mehta undertook that no construction or demolition of structures or cutting down of trees will take place. Following that, the court ordered that there should be no construction or demolition of structures or cutting down of trees in relation to the ambitious Central Vista project of the central government. High courts and other courts now. A plea in Allahabad High Court has challenged UP government's ordinance on religious conversions in the name of Love Jihad. Advocate Saurabh Kumar has moved the High Court, stating that the Uttar Pradesh prohibition of unlawful conversion of religious or religion ordinance 2020 is both morally and constitutionally repugnant. He has urged the court to declare this new law as ultravise the constitution and in the interim direct the authorities not to take any coercive action in pursuance thereof. Instances of cheating and duping farmers increasing every day, systems not sensitive towards problems faced by farmers, Bombay High Court has held. The court was hearing an application for quashing filed by a Jalgaon-based businessman who were accused of cheating farmers. <laughs> Government officials like Kumkaran need to be woken up from slumber by using different means, Jammu and Kashmir High Court said. High Court compared the government officials with Kumkaran from Ramayana who used to sleep for six months at a stretch. The court was hearing a writ petition filed by the National India Construction Company which challenged the rejection of a bid submitted by it during the technical evaluation for construction of a road under the Pradhan Mantri Gram Sadak Yojana which is the PMGSY. <laughs> Elderly couple threatened by daughters, Allahabad High Court directed district magistrate to ensure their safety. High Court has now sought the Uttar Pradesh uh, state government's uh, reply on the measures taken by the state for the establishment of the tribunal and appellate uh, tribunals under the Maintenance and Welfare of Parents and Senior Citizens Act 2007 and rules framed thereunder. Bench was hearing the plea of a senior scientist and his wife who prayed before the court that they be protected from their daughters who are allegedly harassing them to claim the couple's property. That's all for this week, guys. I hope this was informative and helpful for you. Don't forget to tune in next week and to hit like and subscribe to our channel. Subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss a video from Live Law.